case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1984, the United States Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit presided over a case later referred to as United States v. Shabazz, a landmark trial that revolved around the copyright infringement and the necessity for proving both the authenticity and reliability of evidence. At the heart of the case was Karim Alamin Shabazz, a businessman found guilty of violating federal copyright laws through the illegal reproduction and distribution of pirated tapes, all done without the required permission from the copyright owners. Shabazz landed in the crosshairs of the law after an investigation led by two FBI agents revealed the presence of pirated music that was traced back to a single source, the entrepreneur himself. Initially, in an attempt to challenge the verdict, Shabazz sought acquittal, arguing that the evidence presented was insufficient. However, his motion was dismissed, with the court insisting that the government had presented compelling proof enough to affirm Shabazz's conviction. The nature of Shabazz's operations was laid bare during the trial. An elaborate setup involving sophisticated audio equipment and a team of employees specialized in duplicating copyrighted sound recordings. Indeed, a search warrant executed at his premises yielded not only illicit blank and legitimate copyrighted tapes, but also duplicating equipment, labels, and business records, all of which served to underscore his intentions to profit from the illegal venture. Consequently, the court upheld Shabazz's copyright infringement conviction. The evidence, including authenticated tapes and a demonstrated history of unauthorized tape reproduction for commercial gain, was cardinal. It propelled the jury to affirm the judgment, holding that it was reasonable to conclude the evidence established Shabazz's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.